Good afternoon, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budroom and uh, we're going to do an update on our veggie garden and uh, on my organic vegetable garden. I've just returned home from fishing and uh, apart from catching fish um, to sell as well as a feed for home, I also took the opportunity to get a basket of uh, fresh seaweed that was floating on top of the water. Um, I normally fish out, out wide, almost out of sight of land and you don't see any seaweed out there, but this time we're in, I was in close to shore and uh, saw all this seaweed floating around, so I couldn't pass it up, so I spent a half an hour and scooped it all up with the, my landing net and filled up a whole fish basket. So but just to sort of do a rundown on our veggie garden, um, I, had a, I just dug this fresh patch over there. Um, it was just chock-a-block full of nut grass, and uh, so I dug it up and got about two bins of nut grass out of it so I'll put some spuds in there there's a couple just starting to pop out I'm going to put some more spuds there now these are our sweet potatoes I've only got two plants in that section there uh, I've got more spuds here there's just a couple just popping out of the ground here you can just see um, more sweet potatoes there they're the uh, purple skin and white flesh and the ones to the left are the um, orange, as same as these ones here, they're orange. Now, our snake beans are still producing. I got home from fishing yesterday and um, picked a whole handful. Um, there's a couple here on this, so I just um, pick them now. So there's, so, there's, so there's a couple here. Now, um, over here, if you saw our uh, previous uh, update, the cassava was only just very young, so that's looking good. Uh, we've got our cherry tomatoes, we've got up our grandson, um, beautiful large uh, yellow cherry tomatoes, more spuds, more spuds. Yeah, what happens is uh, I planted these spuds maybe a bit early, some of them have gone rotten in the ground with all the rain we've had and uh, they weren't certified seed potatoes, they were just potatoes I got from the shop. And uh, now here's my, uh, my here's my basket of seaweed. It's just got a well, there's a few flies hanging around it, but it's got a beautiful um, seaweed smell. It is nice. So I'm just going to uh, distrib distribute that around the spuds before I fill them up, uh, without sort of making it too thick anywhere. That's our last crop of sweet corn here. We've got our shallots coming through. Our, uh, these are the red uh, red shallots. So I've learned a fair bit about shallots in the tw last 12 months. Um, just here, I've got a couple of um, Spanish onions. They started to sprout in the refrigerator. And I, a, a, a lady I was talking to at the supermarket told me you can uh, just pop them in the ground and they'll grow. So, um, so I'm just going to see how they go. And uh, now, if you saw our other update uh, in the summer, the uh, ginger, uh, you, can, you might recall this is the ginger nearly three months later. So there's the first one there on, on, my, on the right is the one that I said on our last video was about two feet across. Well, I think there's another sprout just coming up here. Uh, if you measure between there and the one right over there, it could be close to two feet. Uh, the other ones are pretty well caught up. You can hardly see the lemongrass over there. Um, now there's our, our, um, our girl and gal. It's a beautiful plant. Girl angle. So you'd grow that just for the plant itself. Yeah, it's beautiful. But, yeah, without having the tuber to eat. Now, we've got something to show you here. I'm just going to... Uh, now, my father-in-law, our father-in-law gave us, uh, or my father-in-law and woman's father, <laughs> gave us this for our anniversary. Um, it's a cactus, it's a dragon fruit, and, and we've got our first fruit off it. So we come out one day and found this flower <laughs> on the, on a, <laughs> the only way we tied it up so it wouldn't break off. And so we're going to have that for lunch today. We're going to put it in the refrigerator and... Dad's uh, coming. Dad's coming up for lunch and we're going to share our first fruit off the um, dragon fruit. So I'm really pleased about that. 
Apparently they fruit, flower and fruit about six times a year when they get going. Yeah, so we're looking forward to uh, getting more off this. So I was really pleased to be able to show you that. Now this is our uh, uh, sweet potatoes. There's four plants in this group here. And uh, I've changed my strategy with the sweet potatoes in the last 12 months. Um, what I used to do, so what I do is, the reason why I'm holding this knife, I'm just going to show you what I do. So, now what I'm doing is, you keep the sweet potatoes contained to, to an area that big, right? So all these uh, runners that sort of ex extend out, you just chop them off. And uh, just just keep it trimmed. Now, uh, now what I used to do is just throw these runners into the uh, side somewhere, uh, using this vertically as a mulch. But what happened was... Uh, I, I, I got away with growing sweet potatoes for about 10 years without any problems, but all of a sudden the sweet potato weevil found us and then uh, it started to become a problem. And I was found that all these runners were producing little sweet potatoes in the ground and the sweet potato weevil was breeding up in, the, uh, in those little sweet potatoes. So I've, I've got rid of all them and that's why I didn't grow any last year, we grew mainly, grew mainly potatoes and, uh, and we're still using the potatoes out of our freezer so they're due to run out probably next week uh, and, and I've got uh, ready for the uh, sweet potatoes and the new lot of potatoes to come on. So we, we've got a couple here that I found um, in the ground and uh, you can see your sweet potatoes there. Yeah, what happens with sweet potatoes? You sort of plant your your uh, runner, and and you can and you get your sweet potatoes in the area where your runner is. So you can see uh, the sweet potato coming off the runner. And uh, have you zoomed in on that, woman? Yes. And you can see, but you don't actually just feeling it. It feels quite sturdy. So you, you just don't know how big it is under the ground. So they've got about another month to go. So, and uh, there's some more over here, uh, not as obvious there. So, uh, now, another thing to show you over here, uh, getting back to the shallots. Yeah, I went to the, well, every time that we go shopping, I always go to the uh, fresh, to the vegetable section and check out the veggies, you know, just so I can compare what you can buy in the shop with what I grow. Now, um, I bought these golden shallots and uh, planted them. And two of them have got the uh, sprouts coming up. And uh, so uh, one of them didn't come up, so we're having him for lunch today. And uh, so, well, this, this one here is in the same boat. And maybe we might use him for lunch today too. And this other one, so, so this one's got roots. It's, it's got roots. That one's well and truly got roots, that one's got roots, and that one's got roots. So we've only just... So, so these golden shallots are fantastic, they reckon, we haven't tried them out yet, uh, roasted. So I'm going to peel that one and uh, put in with the other ones. We've only just put the roasted uh, potatoes on. So, so, uh, so we're going to do that. So how are we going for time? Well, no, it's sort of... Have you gone past 10 minutes? Eight. Quarter, oh, wait, eight wait. minutes, 40 seconds. We're laughing. Seconds. Was there anything else I forgot to mention? No, I, I think I that's mentioned all. that's our last crop of sweet potatoes. No, no, sweet corn. Mm. So I showed you the, showed the um, seaweed. <laughs> that's that's what you wanted to show. Yeah, I wanted to show that, yeah. So that's fantastic. So uh, whenever I see that floating around, the only, op the only thing that was a bit disheartening Every cluster of seaweed that was there, there was something man-made amongst it. You know, either a drinking straw or a bottle top or something like that, you know. So anyway, that, that's a bit disheartening. Anyway, we'll get going and uh, we'll catch you later. All the best. Bye. Bye.